Sheep fans, I am off on the road doing a little trip around some different farms to see diversification options. And today, we're picking pumpkins. Oh, it's some heavy lifting. Let's go. The McEwen family began farming here at Anprior Farm back in 1936. And the farm is now run by Rebecca and Duncan, along with Duncan's parents, who both still live and work on the farm. Rebecca, a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for having me oh, here today. The uh, first question I've got to ask is, why pumpkins? I know it's a bit of a bizarre thing when we're in western climes of Scotland. Well, I think it was one night, Duncan was just kind of searching internet and he came across this sort of idea. We're on a busy road, which is the 811, and there's a lot of tourists, there's a lot of like passing trade. So we'd always thought, wouldn't it be nice to do like sunflowers or lavender or just like something to sell? It's absolutely bouncing, even on a dry day like it is today. I know, it's a wee today. bit cold, isn't it? How many people are coming here every day? Yeah, roughly about 700-ish cars a day uh, for two to two and a half weeks. So, is that right? Yeah, that, that's it's busy times. Massive. <laughs> Obviously with farm diversification, mm -hmm. has this helped improve the income of the farm? I don't think we realised how much we would have it as part of our farming kind of business. Our main aspect is sheep farming. Um, we have 1,300 sheep, but it's definitely part of the whole income of the farm now. The great thing is that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket no. hoping that the sheep trade's good. There's so many farmers that will be looking at their farm thinking, what else can we do? What is the biggest challenge that you've overcame since you started this? Weather's the biggest thing, but we can't control that. And then it's just the whole health and safety and making it a really safe experience for people, you know, from parking the cars safely to making sure that the whole thing just flows really well. So we have about 50 members of staff as, as well as us, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of working every day just to make sure everybody like knows where to get their real battle, doesn't slip, knows how to park their car safely. So I think as farmers, you know, we're so used to working with sheep, mm -hmm. but then as soon as the public comes in, it's making sure it's like a really safe day out. Just one final thing, You've, you do the pumpkins, you've got the sheep, mm -hmm. you've some cows, yep. uh, you do a little bit of arable crop as well. Yep. What else have you got on the go? Since I've had kids, my job's kind of come back and stayed at home, so I do an indoor swimming pool and then we've got four glamping pods. They've all got their own little hot tub, so it's a nice bit of escapism. Of the swimming pool, the pods and the pumpkin and the lambing experiences, uh -huh. what's your best term? Obviously sheep are the number one, <laughs> we know that, but what, what's your best term out the rest of them? It all probably all kind of averages out quite well. I'd say the sheep at the end of the day is probably our sort of main business. Yes, bound to be. That Part, in yeah. those numbers, yes. And quite an unbelievable amount of diversification you have yeah. here actually. You're obviously very driven. It's yeah. a fantastic operation you've got going oh. here. So much going on. Thanks for having me oh, to uh, stop by coming. today and make this wee video. Super, thank you. And uh, hey, you don't even need you don't even need luck. <laughs> I can see you're you're going to be busy enough weather. without any we good luck. We need weather. Yeah. We need good weather. Don't we all? Thanks very much, <laughs> thank Rebecca. Thank you. Rebecca says you're to blame for the pumpkins. <laughs> I'd say it's a joint thing. I think it was a farming forum or something like that. And I'd seen this um, post about a pumpkin patch. And uh, we'd always been, because of that main road there, we'd always been kind of looking for you know, something. Uh, to harness you know, the passing yeah, traffic. Because, you know, for us, it's just up until, up until we opened the pumpkins, it's just been a nuisance. Yeah. I mean, it literally cuts the farm in two. So we planted 0.1 of an acre the first year. It just seemed to take off from there. We went up to an acre, two, four, and then six. Was it just like instant success? The first, uh, the first car park we made held about 10 cars. So we opened on the Saturday morning. We opened at 10, and by 10 past 10, I was chasing the tops out the field, the last field next to where the car park was. Dad was still operating the digger in the car park. Is that right? Just and to um, try and, uh, I tried to make space. space. Pretty much sold it at Pumpkins the first day and ran out on the second day. So, so, we, so obviously um, now you're planting more than 0.1 of an acre? Yeah, so we're growing up now to eight acres now or something like that. that right? so, yeah. so when we're doing this, like you're picking them up and you're, you're kind of giving them a bit of inspection the whole so, time. So, so this year? So, I, mean, I, that's a, I know, but, that's gone. That's, so, so no. Ah, yeah, no. This That's a warty one. Yeah, we were yeah. talking about this with ah, Stephen earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like the uglier the better. Ah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. We'd grow a range of varieties. Obviously, there's a, a fair few white ones. Was it eight varieties this year? Um, different varieties suit different years. You know, we've got we've got a couple of favourite ones that seem to be consistent, but we're always trying new ones just to see if we can improve and make them better. Certainly so, a lot of weight in the white uh, ones. Well, the white ones are absolutely solid. For anyone thinking about, you know, diversifying and maybe starting pumpkins and uh, fixing axles or whatever it is. Is that the handbrake on, I think <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. it is. Just start again. For, <laughs> aye, for anyone thinking of uh, diversifying, are pumpkins easy? No. Pumpkins are notoriously difficult to grow. 
right? Joy, we've quite often have gardeners coming up, them telling us how hard they found it to grow, and asking how, how you managed to do it in a, like a field scale. They're kind of fickle, if you know what I mean. They're like, the one minute that you, you check them every couple of days, and one minute they're look, looking great, uh -huh. the next minute they're looking awful. Like this year, we, we plant through plastic as for weed suppression. Because they were in the, the west, we can't really get away with hoeing them. Okay. Because it's not dry enough. Right, right. So we need the, the plastic as a weed suppression. We, we tried hoeing it the first uh, one year. One year we did it. Yeah. Uh, and it was just a, it was like painting the fourth road bridge. You yeah. were just at it all the time. And it was hand hose as well. So this year we, we uh, changed the setting in the planter and made the hole slightly smaller to try and uh, make the weed suppression uh, better. Yeah, I have even less weeds. But yeah. the pumpkin started growing in below the plastic. Right, okay. So Stephen and I and a couple of others had a, a day or two walking up and down each row on our hands and knees, making the holes bigger. It's, Quick labour yeah, intensive yeah, no, it's, yeah, aye. They're just awkward. We blocked that main road in 2017. Like, and it's taking people an hour to get from one side of the arm prior to the other. So that's why we have the ticketing system for the car park now. It's yeah. purely to manage the car park. Because the, the residents wouldn't be like... Oh, I mean, it's, it, we were, you know, not popular. We're doing everything we can to try and manage that flow. And it's, most sessions are grand. They come in at a nice steady pace, but quite often it's like three o'clock and they arrive like, all, all 200 some cars. So now the people have Empire before they leave the house, they're like, <laughs> yeah, you, when's, yeah. it, when's that session? Right, oh, they, can't we better go, the pumpkins when, when, are when finishing. When they hear the horn, it's like, <laughs> get to, oh, time quick, to get to work. Aye, the three o'clock session's coming in. <laughs> aye, so yeah, it. the way we try to look at it is that everything works within t together. Yeah, yeah. Some of these things, you, you, you run the numbers on them, you're like, it probably will work, but it's probably not a right fit for us, whereas everything we're doing actually works. Like even the pumpkins fits in quite nicely with the rest of the farm. The, probably the biggest thing that I personally learned with doing the diversifications is they're great, but they can actually be detrimental to your core business. The farm is still the, the core business. The, the, the diversifications are kind of bolt-ons. Yes. And I think whatever you do, just make sure that the, the core business doesn't suffer because of the diversification. Yeah. Or you, because you're just robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's like me awake here filming this when I'm supposed to put those in my lamps. <laughs> well, so, you know, but, you, uh, but you, you know, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know. totally. Well, don't, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. <laughs> Fantastic. So. so Duncan, is this the pride of the flock? Yeah, I think it might be actually. There's a few big ones, um, but I, no, I think that might be a bit hard. Right, and just tell me it's roughly 100 kilos. Well, I think it's about 120, isn't yeah, it? Good man, that's what I wanted to hear, yeah. so now I'm going to try and lift it. I feel like uh, Tom Stoltman. I've got to do it like this, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you <clears throat> Quite good. Is that a big knife to carve this? Yeah, there was a bit of soup in that one. Yes, some man. Right, well. <laughs> I'll head up the road now. Uh, th um, you can take that home if us. you want. Oh, God, it's, not, it's not far back to the car, is it? <laughs> Some man. Thanks, Cheers. Thomas. See you later. <laughs> Thank now that we've got our pumpkins, Stephen, the only full-time staff member on the farm, is going to show me what to do with them. The biggest issue with trying to run a pumpkin patch like this is you've, you've all these boys to pay and exorbitant wages. I can only imagine. To get skilled labour like this, it's going to be expensive. Is that not right, boys? Aye. aye. Exactly. <laughs> is it, is it extra rugby training for the boys? Aye, aye. aye this is just uh, their uh, community service, is yeah. it? Oh, I like this. Aye, oh. Right, okay. oh. Aye. Good rugby training right enough. Oh. <laughs> Slip it. They're, they're a fair weight in some way. They are, aye. Well, I think these boys are trying to catch me out here. They wouldn't do that. No, no. Aye, that's it. That's me. I like it. So I take it the idea here, Steve, just throw set the pumpkins yeah, out just, nicely. Yeah, just try and yeah mix the big ones with the wee ones. That's right. Just like make them look aesthetically pleasing, I suppose. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not sure we make uh, this one look. At, this is a perfect wee one with the walks yeah, and all. This one's as popular. I reckon that the, everybody likes a. Uh, a different pumpkin. Aye, aye, yeah, you know, yeah. It's not like the... Well, they're coming yeah. here to get pumpkins to carve. That's right, it's, aye. Uh, a lot of Nobody's people use it on displays soup. and stuff at the front doors. It's a popular thing now. Yeah, if it's unusual. Yeah. Everybody can go to Tesco and get a kind of uniform pumpkin, but we kind of specialise in the nice ones, like oh, a fairy tale and yeah. What you mean is like you can't grow the good ones, so you've got, to, you've got to market it right. Is that what yeah. you're telling me? Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know they're unique. <laughs> <laughs> great, you're great at selling them. Aye. Aye. Oh. Oh. Nobody, nobody wants a normal one. No, you're right, you're right. It's all about the aesthetics. A lot of seasonal staff here at this time of year, but you're, you're the full-time man. That's right, yeah. yeah. And how long have you worked here? Uh, moved down 
me and the family moved down about June last year, so 2021. Change the scenery and a couple of the better weather. Aye, <laughs> it's bro. Yeah. Less yeah. wind, I suppose. Yeah. Boys fantastic. country, we call this. Ah, oh, boys country, aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Just the men up in Orkney. Yeah, that's right. Aye. And you're doing a lot of sheep work and cattle work as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just everything. See, that's just a downside there. That's what we call pumpkin gut. Uh -huh. But that's just been, you know, well, like the weather, the weather and stuff. Have they just uh, started to rot? Aye. At least it smells nice. Whoa. It's not too bad. Yeah. And the sheep eat the ones that the people. That's right. Well, yeah. We just put an electric fence up and there's let no, them at it. There's no waste. The sheep yeah. get it. So, what do you prefer of all the things you do? The tractor work, the cattle, the sheep, the pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, probably cliche, but I just. Enjoy it all, the just general farm work, uh, you know, the variety. Cliche, exactly. Cliche. I, 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 no, I can see that. The variety does make it interesting. Yeah. Eh? A pumpkin like this one here that I've got, I mean, this, folk must look at this with all the warts on it and yeah. just think that would look perfect yeah. for a Halloween pumpkin. Yeah, it's exactly, it's just... Ugly. It's ugly, yeah, but uh, it's beautiful. Aye. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's ugly but beautiful. <laughs> aye, quite hard work. I think I might go and uh, shoot some turnips now just to recover. Duncan, how are you getting on? Thank you, yourself? Good to meet you, yes, Good having time. a great time. I must say, we've just been picking pumpkins, throwing pumpkins, <laughs> now we're going to fire some turnips. Yes. Is that right? This is actually the real reason I came here today. I saw this on Instagram and I thought, how do I get there, get a free entry and get a free shot of that cannon? We'll say we're here to make a video. And you're the expert at it, I hear? Yes. Yes, ah, I like the confidence, okay. I see some targets on these bales. Well, we'll have a wee shoot off, we'll see who gets closest to the target. Okay. Right, that sounds like good fun. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put the turnip in here, uh, make sure that the point is always facing the cannons where it's going to shoot. If you hold that and right. then... Am I shooting it with this or is this... No, 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 so you're trying to... It's a safety almost. It's a safety, of course, for the kids and stuff. Yeah, so I press the left one down first and then Fire away. Like that. Oh, that was pretty that was pretty accurate. Pretty good. <laughs> He's a confident man, I like it. That was pretty good. Here we go. I've chosen my weapon. Okay, so I'll put this in point facing towards the bale. Yeah. Right, okay, let's see. Can I put my hand in here? It's safe. Yeah, it's it? fine. Panicked, I dropped it. It's I, fine. Quite nerve wracking putting your hand in there when really? you're holding that and it's a gun and I'm well, like... rugby tackling sheep is more nerve wracking. Oh, well, I've never lost an arm at that. I just, I've, I've seen too many, so I've seen too many Rambo almost films. Almost that, it's a chamber. Right, you kept it quite low, I thought. Here, should I be aiming low or high? Uh, I'll go like almost in the middle. Right, so keep it, keep it a wee bit lower. Yeah. And then what am I pressing here? Uh, left one and then right one. Left button first. That, that's it, primed, ready to go. Alright. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Were you aiming for that? You, you would not. Oh yeah, I was aiming for the bullseye. <laughs> you, you would not want uh, someone walking in front of that when you fired it. I tell Definitely you, that not. would take a head clean off. Quite a bit of kit. I need to get one. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Quite impressive. Thank you. That's quite a weapon, that. But anyway, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Bye. Thanks, Duncan. Well, it's been an eye-opening day here at Empire Pumpkin Patch. What a fantastic diversification business they've built up here. Great to see. And thanks very much to the team for having me visit. That's it for this one, guys. We'll see you for the next one.